I'm going to do something different. This is a story that I wrote. It's an Ed World uh, fanfic. Hey, Ed. Ed heard as he ran. He wasn't Ed, but a clone. A clone made by a madman producer who made a movie four morons enjoyed, prompting the creation of him and his friends. He had escaped along with a Tord, who had fought back against the, his original. Go! He remembered hearing him call, making him run as fast as possible. The originals are insane. That's all he knew. He wanted to go back and find the Tord, but he was afraid to go back. Tord's voice ordering him to go, echoing in his mind, not letting him stop. He turned a corner, looking around. Where am I? He said softly, hugging himself as he leaned against the wall, trying to find any landmark he could use to find out where he was using his memories. It didn't help. He it was night time. He didn't like being alone. He was used to being in the large group. His mind went to the carnage that happened in that house. He wasn't sure if he was the only one or not to escape. Besides the toward he saw, he sat on the sidewalk. He didn't know what to do, trying to use Ed's memories for answers. Go home, it said. Home. That horrible house where death is. No way. Tears formed in his eyes as he sat, lowering his head between his knees. Arp. He heard lifting his head to see a cat. Ringo? He said softly, thinking about the original cat of Ed's. This cat looked like Ringo, but there was some differences. This cat was more brown, unlike Ringo. Also, it was younger. He held out his hand. It went straight for it, almost like they m had met before. He unfolded himself, enough for his new companion to hop on his stomach and curl up. His hand stroked the fur as it purred while it slept. He watched his surroundings. You never know in the city. His eyes grew heavy as because of the calming sounds of the purring cat. He fell asleep. Hey, Ed, wake up! He heard as he was shaken awake, the cat looking around as confused as he was. Matt, he said, tilting his head at the ginger-haired man before him. Technically, he said with a wink, Ed was relieved. It's okay. He's a friend, he told the cat, stroking its fur. The cat didn't seem to believe him, but calmed down, probably annoyed by the shaky wake-up call. How did you escape, Ed said. I mean, they couldn't tell me apart from the original. So, they put me in Tom's ho hoodie and threw him out. But Tom came back in, not happy, and kicked me out because I had the number on my arm. Matt said, showing him 5016. Ed showed him 472. Right. Ed smiled. Ha happy to have someone. Is it just us? Matt said. No, there's a torch somewhere. I saw him run out of that house, Ed said, standing with his new kitty in his arm. We should probably find him, Matt said. Yeah, I guess so, Ed said, looking around as the cat rubbed against him, purring. Ed, do you know where he is, Matt said. Matt, I don't even know where we are, but I know I ran straight, Ed said. Why? Matt said, looking at him, with a whimper, hugging the cat slightly. Tord told me to go, so I did so, running as fast as I could from that house. Ed said, again, why? Matt said, the original of him was going to kill me, but he stepped in front of me and saved me. I only turned back to see him retreat with the sound of a gun following him. Also, just ran straight, then shuddered. We are made from monsters. Matt watched him as they walked. Hello, is somebody there? 
they heard from a dumpster. Tom? Ed said, walking up and opening it. Ow, Tom said, hanging out the side, rubbing his head. What are you doing in there? Matt said. When everyone wanted to go sh home, when everyone wanted to go home, I wanted to go kitten shopping, Tom said, folding his arms. Thank you for watching if you watched this.